Well, guys, I almost fell back um, with the latest that I heard last night, this morning, and now. And I did say it on a video. Let me see if I find it and I upload it. I was talking about Haiti. And gang members out there, they set fire to some prisons and let the prisoners loose. Now, for those that know about those islands, um, Haiti is connected to Dominican Republic. And Dominican Republic has a border. They can't cross over Dominican Republic. And then you have Puerto Rico in, be in between close. So the prime minister of Haiti um, was out of the country. He was trying to fly back into the country. That chaos happened. And the gang blocked the airport of Haiti, Port-au-Prince, and Prime Minister can't land. They don't want him there. They said they'll kill him, and they already said that they will have a civil war. That's something to think about, guys. Um, borders. Okay, borders. So, we have a repeat of the border of Mexico with the United States, and we have a border between Haiti and Dominican Republic. That country, that island. And then you have Puerto Rico not too far away. So they have he, he land they landed um the uh, prime minister um from Haiti. They had to land him in Puerto Rico. So right now he is in Puerto Rico. So civil war is a big it's a, it's a big issue border is a big issue and has anyone noticed on tv that there is a lot of movies about disasters lately um how to um survive this or um different top different movies but the ones that are popping up for you to see released or or favorites or whatnot whichever way they label it it has to do with some kind of catastrophe so that's like an eye opener okay um we should we need to open our eyes i've been i've been watching i've been listening i see things um, we know things, we've seen things, and we know it's true, it's happening. And I truly, you know, um, like I said, I I don't have really any preps for, for months. But one advice I will give is please listen, please shop for your canned food plenty of water, um, uh, batteries, uh, this light right here that you see, it's, it's a, um, it's a, um, rechargeable headlamp, have headlamps in case you have to be in the dark and get around somewhere, if you have to go out, have a headlamp to guide, you know, your way. Um, think about that guys this is serious okay this is getting really serious by the day and we cannot overlook it people live life on a, on a daily basis like nothing's happening we have a lot of people that don't don't watch any any kind of media they don't believe in anything we tell them I'm a witness to that and I want you to be safe, okay? If you're on my channel, you're a new subscriber, thank you for joining in, jumping in on my roller coaster. Um, and, um, and for the subscribers, thank you. Um, hit the like button, okay? Leave a comment. I like comments because they kind of encourage me and, and um, give me a better mindset. What's going on in your area? 
what's going on in your city, your town. Um, it's good to stay communicated um, so that we know what's going on in your state as I will give information from where I'm at. And that way we know a little more. Okay, so don't shut it. Don't, don't leave it out. Okay, whatever state you're in, you don't have to mention the state if you don't want to be known. But just say the middle or the west side or the east side or the south side or whatnot. Or it doesn't matter because, you know, you're not going to be searched anywhere. Um, I would like to know. What are you seeing in your state? What are you seeing? I know inflation, we can't beat that. But what are you seeing, guys, as far as the homelessness? Um, have you uh, spotted more immigrants, people that you've never seen before, walking the streets if you live in a city? Has there already been any fights? Um, students are fighting amongst each other, too. What is going on, guys? And wherever you turn to, you hear civil war, civil war, civil war, civil unrest. And you know what, guys? Honestly telling you, I truly believe we are going to have um, a civil unrest. Really big. Really big. And we should not wait for election time. Um... I think this is going to be the, the worst year for these elections like we've never seen before or never seen in our lifetime. Um, I'm really worried. I'm really worried um, that I am not prepared. Um, others aren't prepared. People don't care. And there's a lot of persons that that enforce the issue to please prepare. Okay, prepare also a suitcase. Get a big, um, huge suitcase um, of your preps in case you need to leave home, depending on where you live. Okay, um, how the situation is in your neighborhood. Have your vehicle prepared. Um, my option is not filling up bins and stuff like that. My option is vacuum sealing and taking stuff that I can cook and stuff that I can fix um, to prepare my van. Not with three days. Forget about the three days. Um, if a civil unrest was to break out, guys, and everything closes and everyone cleans out the stores, like what happened with the toilet paper and the formulas and all that, if you have small kids, you better ramp up on those pampers and, and formulas and, and whatever you need for that child to survive, vitamins um, for your child to get, you know, the vitamins and minerals they need. Um, air, uh, what a purifier is to... If you, if you if you if you can't get a whole lot of water but I you know what um I truly suggest that we start opening up our 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 deaf side of you know we don't want to hear it no well, we need to hear it and we need to act for our own safety I've been noticing for the past couple of days that um, when you go on your phone and you open up an, uh, a news app or um, I was trying to get into my video app and it was lagging and it's not my internet guys um and i i heard of it i heard in the past couple of days the it's slow um one of the social media um apps was down some night i don't know um we just don't know guys okay so not to scare anybody not like that but i want you to be safe i want to be safe i want to have water i want to have you know canned stuff um and it worries me it really does worry me 
um, if you have pets, stock up on their food. Um, think about it, guys. Think about what I'm telling you. You might hear it down the line. Um, we have a tough um, election this year, okay, with uh, Joe and and Trump, two candidates, okay, two candidates, and we have to choose. We have to choose. We have to vote. We must vote, guys. We must go out and vote, please. This is one of the years you need to go out and vote. I don't know what voting um, will look like when it comes, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out down the line. Will it be safe to go out and vote? Will have will chaos have broken out and you can't even go out and vote? Will it be a um, extended time? For voting because something might be going on you guys we don't even know right now china and russia are almost in war with each other um china and russia guys we're talking about china and united states not china and russia i heard china and russia are not in good terms at all they are about to to to, to uh anything can happen you have to think about being safe Having the essentials, being safe, have things at home to secure your doors, your windows, just, you know, just in case, nothing to scare anyone, guys, but just, just, you know, telling you what I've seen, what I've heard, um, and phone calls, I got a couple of phone calls too, asking me, what was I prepped, no, <laughs> I don't have anything. But my water purifier to use that you need water and to use that it would be my last resource of me running out of water but where would i get water okay there are ponds all over the place but it's dirty water um stores new york stores are closing moving out of state Completely closing down guys because they're breaking and stealing and stuff like that. Everything is like under lock and key um, It's scary It's scary, but we don't need to be scared. We need to be strong and Take the bull by the horns and do what we have to do um, We can't think of ourselves we have to think about if you have close family, even if they don't listen, but you're not going to leave them without a bite to eat. My son is prepping. But I can't depend, you know, I can't worry about him prepping. I have to do it too. Um, I might have to hunker down. He might have to hunker down. Maybe we'll hunker down together. I wouldn't want to leave my place. He's not going to leave his home. But if we had to, we have to. Where would you go? People say, leave, leave your home. Uh, where the hell are we supposed to go? Where, 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 where? you know? So if it, if it came to that, um, stay in prayers and let God direct you in the right direction for safety of you and your loved ones. Um, I never expected I, I never want my kids to experience anything like this. But it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. We're going through some different, difficult times. And we can't play around with it. So now it got... The situation is getting worse and bigger. Because now Haiti, with that gangs... Gangs... Um... And they're huge. Plus, they let the prisoners out, the criminals out. And they set fire and whatnot. So, if they did it, someone else is going to do it also. In another prison, or other prisons. Uh, 
Are we safe? No one is safe. Can we get away from that? We don't know. We can do our best. We can do our best to stay safe. And the other way to do it is being prepared with, with as much. Forget about three days. As much as possible. For a month. And I truly believe it's going to start before election time. This, this election is going to be interrupted by civil unrest. I truly believe it. Um, and we only have two candidates to choose from. Are they trying to replace um, JB because of Alzheimer's and uh, guys? We knew that from the beginning. We saw it from the beginning. Um, now they're trying to get Mr. Trump, the other uh, uh, candidate, um, diagnosing him with Alzheimer's because he uh, added some extra letters to some name of, of countries in um, South America. And that's why I was talking about the slang. So all these psychologists, psychiatrists, and I don't know what, 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 they all got together signing a petition that, that he has Alzheimer's. Um, what about three plus years that we've been dealing with someone who, who doesn't know the light uh, left from his right? Was it a double doing his correct speech? Was it somebody with the earpiece that he would repeat somebody was guiding this presidential election what do you think guys i've done a lot of thinking today i've done a lot of running around today and i've done a lot of thinking and um now i said Ooh, it's, it's hitting um it's hitting puerto rico it's going to hit Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is, is full of crime as it is anyway. Um, drugs taking over. Fentanyl taking over. Cartels are all out here. Deportation of these immigrants. How, how are you going to do that? How? Where are you going to find all these people that were brought in? So if they got in through the biggest border they can be, they're going to get in through the border of Dominican Republic. What do you think is going to happen over there, guys? Another war between Haiti and Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico is also going to get involved in it, be involved in it. Um, so now we have an issue. We have uh, the Prime Minister of uh, Haiti in Puerto Rico. So that means that if Puerto Rico doesn't turn the prime minister over to Haiti because they, they, they want to they want to kill him, they want to kill him. That's why they couldn't land him anywhere in Haiti. They want to kill him. Um, they don't want him back over there. So nobody's running Haiti right now. Haiti is on its own. Haiti has no government. The people are running the the, uh, the island of Haiti. guys think about that just a little info i caught i got some phone calls from puerto rico i you know so i said you know what let me let me just you know um tell my 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 love people in my channel to please prepare because it's not going to be an easy drive from here to election and we need to prepare before election time way before that so please listen, pay attention, guys, and do what you got to do. Hunker down somewhere. Um, don't take anything for granted. Do what you got to do. For your safety, for your loved ones, for yourself. Okay. Um, your animals, your, your kids, your family, whatever. Okay. The elderly. We ain't gonna have no justice. We're not gonna have cops to defend anybody. 
they can't even deal with the immigrants in New York City, New Jersey. They're all over New Jersey, guys, causing chaos. I already heard uh, about that. I, I, didn't, I didn't mention it, but um, I do worry. My anxiety would be off the roof um, because it, it hit my town. It hit the town, surrounding towns. So think about it, guys, and please prepare. Please. From the bottom of my heart, guys, please. Take care. Alright guys, I'll catch you on another video.